let's talk about some applied issues which are behind the scenes. What are some data structure and computational issues associated with implementing Kruskal and Prim? I describe Kruskal as having an initial step which involves a sort on the edges. Now, here's a fundamental fact that, you, that we've talked about in our course. If you have to sort in objects, that will require pre-processing pre -processing on the order of n log n. So that log n factor now means that you are not in the class of linear algorithms anymore. Just the pre-processing pre stage was super linear. So the question underneath it was, can you do something like Kruskal without the sort? Just read the data and begin. Can a minimum weight spanning tree be found using an algorithm which is truly linear in the input size? I happen to know the answer. The answer is yes. So you really don't need to sort. Unfortunately, the, uh, the algorithm is so complicated that when implemented, its running time is considerably worse than any of the standard ones. So we'll wait for uh, more clever computer scientists to come along and, and implement something. It's provably linear in the input size and avoids that log in term hasn't yet become practical. Prims is more subtle. Because in terms of prim, what you have to do is keep track of the set of edges which have a vertex as an endpoint. And this guy is sitting inside a component, and that component is chosen. So you look at all these edges before choosing the next edge. And you might choose one, but you don't throw the others away. You might look at them again later. All right, so in computer science, what do you call a data structure that you have some stuff and you pop something out of it and then you reconfigure this? It's called a heap. Okay, and, and so what you want to do is keep all those edges and all that information organized in a way that at any given moment, I can conveniently pop off the cheapest one. But I don't want to sort them. So if you sort, then when you are down here and you do something, this edge, which might be in the middle, is a good edge, but the one right above it has both of its endpoints in the same component as a bad edge. So, there are some delicate issues involving how you actually code Prim's algorithm. Now, uh, I don't mean to overstate the complexity here. You can find on the internet implementation of Kruskal and Prim's algorithm, which in any language you want will fit in about that much space. So we're, we're not talking 50,000 lines of code. Pretty, pretty, pretty simple. All right. Are there any questions on the two minimum weight spanning tree problems that we've talked about, two minimum weight spanning algorithms? <laughs>